three minutes? Here's Three Minute Art Therapy with Pamela Hayes. I'm so glad you're joining me today because I am going to spend some time answering a question that I get all the time. How do I deal with my clients who are very resistant to making art? I can't tell you how many times I've had a client come into my office and say, I'm just not artistic, I'm not creative, I can't draw a stick person. So what do we do with that? Do we just give up? No way. For some reason, we all believe that we're supposed to be able to draw photorealistically. Not true. Most people can't. Even people who have gone to art school and who are trained artists. First thing that I tell them is, we're not making a masterpiece here. No one else is going to see it. I'm going to put it away. It never gets hung up on the wall. That doesn't usually help them at all. So here are some activities that you can do to help people get past their resistance. One of the first things that I do is I suggest they do a drawing with their non-dominant hand. They're right-handed. I tell them to pick up the marker or the crayon with their left hand. This really helps people get past their perfectionism. If that doesn't work, I tell them to close their eyes and just start drawing. Again, you're going to push past their resistance and their need to create a masterpiece. Sometimes I suggest to my clients that they draw the ugliest thing they can possibly think of. Just scribble, choose ugly colors, make it horrible. You're giving them permission to not be perfect. In order to get them used to the idea of drawing, coloring books can be a great tool. You don't even have to think about what you're making, and so you're not very connected to the final image. It's just about enjoying the process of coloring in the spaces. I even tell my clients they don't have to color within the lines. There's no right or wrong way to do it. If after all that, you still have a resistant client, take drawing out of the equation. Have them make something out of clay or create a collage with magazine pictures. Have them build something out of wood or make something with beads. If all that fails, teach them some technical skills. There's plenty of how to draw books that you can buy. If you see the painting behind me, that was done in a class called Wine and Canvas. Two other girlfriends and I had a glass of wine and learned how to do this painting. It's fabulous because it takes you step by step. They tell you what colors to mix, where to put the paintbrush, and you learn a skill. And when you learn a skill, you're excited. We should always be learning. So I hope you enjoyed today's podcast, and I'll see you next time on 3 Minute Art. For more information, log on to HayesArtTherapy.com.